This is a video on how to add a secondary battery on the Aerial Rider step through. The first thing you're going to want to do is obviously buy the required materials. The first thing would be the battery. Got this off Amazon for 500 some dollars. Uh, just make sure it is 140 millimeters in height. It is not 130. Other places said 130, it's 140. Get some shrink tubing, a heat gun. Uh, these butt connectors, or any butt connectors. You're gonna need XT60 plugs, female to males. And uh, this wire stripper, I mean, any wire stripper will work. And I'm using athletic sports tape. I know that's probably controversial. I uh, recommend getting extra wire and then obviously the battery blender. So first thing, just open the battery, make sure everything's good. I had to remove one of the water bottle bolts because the battery wouldn't fit. So I know it's atrocious, but I did it. Went ahead and then sanded down the area that I damaged. so that the battery could then fit flat. The issue that I had is that particular water bottle holder would um, fold the actual surface. This this what I'm installing right here, it wouldn't fit properly. So I don't want any folds, I don't wanna damage it. So the one screw is actually holding it. So I rotate it so that I can actually fit the battery and then move it down as much as I can <clears throat> the screw holds it, but obviously I'm adding tape for solidity. Uh, you'd be surprised actually how solid the battery is on, even with uh, the sports tape. Once you add uh, the three layers, honestly, it's, it's pretty solid. Make sure it's tight would be my only additional advice. All right, and then over here, obviously, we're gonna now do the battery blender install. We're gonna connect the new battery. So this, what you're seeing here, this actually came with the battery. So, but you could make another one of these with the XT60 connectors that you're buying from Amazon and then add some extra wire. Uh, but gladly the battery came with this. So basically what you're going to be doing is connecting this. That's the battery. I'm actually connecting it to the battery itself. And then the wires themselves, you're going to run them through the back. Um, there's a, like a granite or what, what's it called? I forget that's exactly what the term is for it, but you're going to go ahead and just slide it. There's an actual hole where you can slide and get those wires in there. Uh, before you do that though, you're going to want to actually wrap it and heat wrap it, but I'm just showing you for purposes of showing that that's, that's what you're going to do. But there's your heat wrap. There's the XT60 connectors. Here's your battery blender on the outside. The batteries will go on the outside. So both the stock battery and the new battery go on the outside. Then the controller is connected to the inside. we go just showing you that batteries go on the outside and we're going to be connecting this to the uh, battery wire that we've uh, ran so this is the battery rider wire that we're going to be running and we're going to be using these butt connectors to make that happen and we're using 12 gauge so it's the yellow ones on that particular model You insert and squeeze together very tight, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, I removed a little bit of extra covering, although I'm not sure that was necessary, but just to be safe, I removed it and then uh, did the same thing on the wire that came with the battery. As you can tell, it's already, I've already, on this particular shot, I've already done the heat wrap, but yeah, here we go. We go back in time a little bit and then for heat wrapping, we're using the shrink wrap. Okay, now we can feed it. So this is the proper time to feed it once you've already heat wrapped it. 
Now, this is you got to connect this because this is what's going to go to the battery tender. Okay, so we go ahead and use the butt connectors and connect the cable that you fed through. So that that particular XT60 that will be connecting to the outside of the battery blender. And uh, you can probably tell I just taped that right side up. Why? Because I made a mistake. I did not put any of the shrink tubes before I tightened that connector bud. So I ended up having to just tape that part. Honestly, I probably should have been just left it alone. Uh, the other part, I clearly realized my mistake and I did it properly. So one side is uh, correctly done and the other side just looks not great. So uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and I'm pulling out the cable, the XT60 from the battery and the connection to the controller on the bike itself. So top one is the battery connection that just came off and the bottom, if you look at the, what I'm holding right there with my hand, that's the controller. It'll actually, you can observe that it runs to the controller. The cable runs to the controller. So that controller will go to the middle on the battery blender. And I think we go ahead and do that here, right in the middle. So either one of the one on the left or the right, didn't matter, but it's, it has to be one of the ones in the middle. That's the stock battery we pulled. So I'm putting it in the outside slot, does not matter which one, but as long as it's in one of the outside ones, we're good. And then the second battery that we're adding, put it on the other outside connection. Now we go ahead and fit the battery blender along with all the other connections. Just go ahead and fit it back in there. It wasn't too hard to do. It was actually harder to pull out. So just be careful pulling out that stuff. Make sure that you're not bending anything. And there's still one more cable that we need to go ahead and there we go. Put inward. And we're just going ahead and putting the cap back on. Once the cap is on, I actually will change the direction in which the cable is located. I have it right now, the cable running on the left side of the bike. I remove it and put it on the right side just because it seemed like a little bit easier to manage. I put a zip tie on the top, which you'll see here in a few seconds. So there's the cable running upward. There's a zip tie. <clears throat> And the bike is working great. Honestly, I haven't had any issues so far. Um, and I hope that this is helpful for the X-Rider step through. Don't hesitate to uh, like and subscribe.